Each year we have a spotlight, which is uh, one of the uh, area in cardiovascular medicine that we highlight for the program. And this year we decided uh, to focus on coronary artery disease, from genes to outcomes. And finally, the report during the ESC 2010 of the CURE and ACTIVE trials regarding the correlation between the clinical outcomes on clopidogrel treatment and the different 2C19 enzyme genotypes is a direct illustration of how fast the knowledge in this area is going. Guillaume Paré presented these data collected on the DNA of more than 6,000 patients during one of the clinical trial update sessions. The main results are that we didn't see any effect of loss of function alleles on efficacy and safety endpoints in either the CURE and active trial. And this suggests that it would be uh, safe for this patient population to take clopidogrel without having to worry about their genetic makeup. Despite genetic profiling for antiplatelet therapy now being broadly available, is the information provided suitable for clinical use to help individualize management? Genetic testing is now possible, uh, especially to adjust therapy, antiplatelet therapy. And uh, the question is, uh, shall we do that now in all patients? And the answer is probably no, it's, it's too early. It's easy to do. We have the tools to do it. We can get a response very rapidly. But we don't know yet if it's something that is going to change clinical outcome of these patients. Now, we, we know that poor response to uh, clopidogrel is linked to uh, certain genotypes. Uh, and, and we can have this information quite easily, quite rapidly. It's not very expensive. And uh, some patients may want to have this information for themselves. Or, as a physician, you may want to provide him with uh, this information in case, for example, of uh, recurrency or stent thrombosis when you have failed once already. Another new finding in the field of pharmacogenomics was presented during ESC 2010 by a team from Rotterdam. They've developed a genetic profiling model to predict the treatment benefit of ACE inhibitors for stable coronary artery disease. In this Europa genetic study, they've tested this new tool on the DNA of 10,000 patients who received either perindopril or placebo. Uh, we found that 75% uh, of the patients were responders with a pronounced treatment benefit uh, with uh, the, a favorable genetic profile and there were 25% uh, of the patients with no treatment benefit with the unfavorable alleles of those genetic polymorphisms. So you could predict the amount of treatment benefit by genetic testing.